you're a sailor, each other's first mate. You sign on together and coupled your fate. Hold up your anchor, determined not to fail. For the heart's treasure, together you sail. With no maps to guide you, you must steer your own course. Ride out the storms when the wind scales force. Sit out the boredoms in patience and hope. Working together, you'll learn how to cope. Life is an ocean and love is a boat. In troubled waters that keep you afloat. When you started the voyage, it was never just you, but how lucky you are to have your own crew. Together you're in this relationship. You've built it with care to last the whole trip. Your true destination's not marked on any charts, just navigating yourselves to the shores of the heart. You're fully aware it won't always be plain sailing. There will be times when you both feel like you're failing. But if there's ever a time when it's feeling wrong, remind one another how your love can stay strong. <coughs> Continue to make your plans with similar goals and always hold hands when you go for a stroll. If one seems lost, help them find their way and never be too busy to say I love you every day. For if love can stay strong when it's tested by fire, you'll continue to share a future that we all will admire. A future where you strive side by side and a future where love will always abide. is not perfect and neither are you and together you may never be perfect together but if you can make each other laugh and admit to being human and making mistakes then hold on to each other and give the most that you can. You may not think of each other every second of every day but you're given something you know the other could break your heart. So don't change and don't hurt each other. Don't overanalyze and always communicate and have lots of patience. Smile when you're happy and let each other know when you're sad. And most importantly, miss each other when you're not together. Because love is like a temporary madness. It erupts like an earthquake and then it subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have become so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement every day, or the promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which many of us can convince ourselves that we are. Love itself is what's left over when being in love has gone away. Those who truly love have roots that grow towards each other in the ground. And when all that pretty blossom is gone and fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. Spring
that giving away of the bride is seen as a symbol of love and ongoing support for the married couple. So can I ask who gives Charlotte to be married to Daniel today? I do. Thank you very much, Jackson. A very proud moment if you'd like that to take your seat. Thank you, sir. This place in which we are met has been duly sanctioned by law for the celebration of marriages. And you are all here this afternoon to witness the joining in matrimony of Daniel Andrew Saywell to Charlotte Elise Lucas. To ask if any person here present knows of any just cause or lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Daniel, I now ask you in the presence of this company, will you take Charlotte to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you love her and remain true to her throughout your lives together? I do. Keen, keen. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping the gun, sorry. And Charlotte, will you take Daniel to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you love him and remain true to him throughout your lives together? I do. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these people here present. To witness that I, Daniel Saywell, <laughs> Sorry, can you read that bit again? Don't read it back. <laughs> to witness that I, Daniel Saywell. <laughs> to witness that uh, I, Daniel Saywell. Do take thee, Charlotte Lucas. Take thee, Charlotte Lucas. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. Symbol of our marriage. And I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To give you my love and friendship. To give my love and friendship. To support and comfort you. Support and Comfort you. Comfort you, pleasure. And to respect and cherish you. Respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. This I vow to you today and always. This I vow to you today and always. Have the remaining ring, please. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons. Present. To witness that I, Charlotte Lucas, to witness that I, Charlotte Lucas, do take thee, Daniel Saywell, do take thee, Daniel Saywell, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. I give you this ring, I give you this ring, as a symbol of our marriage, as a symbol of our marriage, and I promise to care for you, and I promise to care for you, to give you my love and friendship, to give you my love and friendship, to support and comfort you, to support and comfort you. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. This I vow to you today and always. This I vow to you today and always. Daniel and Charlotte, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law. You've entered into a solemn and binding contract with each other here in the presence of family and friends. All that remains for me to do is to tell you on behalf of Charlie and myself. I have the very great honour and privilege to tell you that by your words and by the law of this country, you are now husband and wife together. Congratulations. So I don't take
Firstly, I want to say thank you to Charlie and Dan for having me during this special day. Dan, since you came along, I've seen Charlie happier than ever. I'm glad to call you a weird step step dad. <laughs> you both were perfect for each other, and I will never forget the time in Wales playing Uno after a couple of drinks. Trust me, this was hilarious. <laughs> Charlie and Dan, I can't thank you both enough for the support over the years, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds. You're such a lucky lad to be in this family, and I love you both. Thank you. In anticipation for today, Fred told me that everyone will be looking at the stars when Mommy and Dan get married. I thought that she meant the beautiful woodland style, the scenery that we've seen today, or the people that we have in heaven that are looking down on us today. No, what Fred meant was that the real stars, the stars of the show, is herself, Brandon, <laughs> and of course, the beautiful baby Isaac. I love Dan because although I'm only nine, he lets me watch the big fans here. <laughs> and finally, from Freya, what do you call two spiders that have just got married? <laughs> These are Jackson's words. I love Dan. I don't always show it. He supports me through both my good and my bad days. He hasn't tried to replace my dad, but he's a father figure who loves me just the way I am. Dan keeps us all safe, and I am very proud that he serves our country in the army. I am so honoured to have walked my mom down the aisle today. Brandon, myself and Freya wouldn't give her to anyone we didn't love as much as we all love Dan. And of course baby Isaac has made our family complete. Charlie. You'll never know, no matter how often I tell you, how lucky I consider myself to be. You really are son and, and my love is unconditional. You're my soulmate, best friend, and I've, you're at my side today, really is the icing on the cake. And with the kids and the cherries on the top. What an amazing journey we've had so far. Excuse me, sorry. Find our dream family home together. You mean Jackson and Freya have gotten more wonderful family memory to share together. And then last year, we completed our lovely little family with the birth of our beautiful little delight, boy Isaac. Cannot wait to see where the future is going to take us next. Even with life's challenges, I know we all will ride the storm together and come out stronger for it on the other side. We've been there for me joins from the dark times. Just after we met, I sadly lost my gun off. Yeah. Charlie, you're the most caring, amazing woman I've ever met and I don't know what I'd do to serve someone like you but I promise to make you smile at least a little every day. You're not only my best friend but Alex obviously like I've already said you're number two now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. And uh, could I ask you all please to be upstanding and raise your glass to my gorgeous wife and better half to Charlotte, Elise, say well. As I got to know Dan a bit more, I realised that his values were pretty much the same as mine in family life and everything else like that. And then I realised where they were together but Dan was actually the one for Charlie and he was the one that was going to make Charlie very happy and the way he was with the children he was going to make them very happy so what I would like now is if you all stand up raise your glasses and just toast for their happiness 
and health and a long life together. You turn into a fine young man with my looks and your mum's brains. I think I got that bit right. <laughs> and your service and the Royal Logistics Corps and to your Queen and country makes us prouder than you would ever realised. <laughs> Settle down and seeing you happy with your wonderful family it means the absolute world to us. Thank you for being you. And your support as a son means everything to us. It wasn't this fucking one, the daughter got married. <laughs> this one is all about you. <laughs> Wishing you many, many years of happiness. Now a break from the slushy stuff. Judy's going to sing for you. <laughs> I hope not. Please be upstanding to toast the happy couple. Mr. and Mrs. Saywell, the bride and groom. <laughs>